Hi folks, this is activity CD90 and the objective is to create a mechanism which represents an analog clock. Uh, in analog clocks, there are usually three arms present, the minute arm, the hour arm, and the second arm. So I'm not going to bother with the second arm, I'll just do the, the minute and the hour arm, okay? Uh, dimensions are not important, so I'm going to maximize that. And uh, let's start with the product file. And immediately I will save this thing in the folder that I have designated for this particular problem. And in it goes the product and every part that is associated with that product. Okay. <coughs> so uh, file, save management. Well, save as. Let's go one level up. I think it's this one. Yes. Oops, maybe not. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, so everything is going to go in there. And uh, I'm not in assembly design, so let me switch to the uh, mechanical design, assembly design, and insert the, let's say, the, the base. Oh, so insert a new part in there, and I'll call this thing the base. Base and base. Well, let's make it <coughs> on that uh, vertical plane. I will sketch my base is just a circle. Dimension doesn't matter. And uh, exit. Add it. Okay, that's good. All right, <clears throat> now, just so that uh, I can see where my marks are, the 12, 12 uh, the midnight and three o'clock, et cetera. So uh, on that, let me actually go ahead and on that sketch, okay, draw a little indentation here. This is gonna be 12 o'clock, okay, and then this is gonna be three o'clock, okay? Exit. I don't care about the other ones. So uh, uh, now we're going to insert the uh, uh, hour arm. So insert. Um, let me do the minute arm first. Insert a new part in there. I'm going to call it the minute arm. Uh, properties. I'll call it minute. 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 Okay, and uh, let's uh, make it uh, on that uh, on that plane. I will sketch. Okay, something that looks like the arm of a clock, Maybe something like that. Okay. I mean, if I insist, I can make it nice and symmetric. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me do that. So this point control that axis. I want to make it coincident. Okay. And this line. Okay. So let's see now. Normal view. Here's my normal view. I want the center of that circle. Control. The center of the sketch to be coincident. Oh, oh cancel. Let me do the following. Uh, let's make it symmetric. This one, control that one. Uh, uh, middle axis, symmetric. Okay, that, that's good. Very good. Okay, exit. And pad it. I'll make this thing uh, 10. So it looks like. Okay, so this is the minute arm. And uh, <coughs> uh, let me insert the hour arm. 
So insert new part. We'll call it hour. 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 Say okay. All right. Uh, you know what? I think this is too 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 fat. So let me go make it. Uh, maybe instead of ten, I make it five. It just looks nicer. Five. Okay. Good. Good. So back to the hour. Uh, on that uh, plane, I will sketch same same uh, same plane. For convenience, okay, uh, <clears throat> the different ways of doing it, one is you can scale this thing down, okay, that's one way of doing it, or literally go ahead and do that, let me, let me try to, to scale this thing down, so, uh, or maybe offset, okay, let's do an offset, so let me select these things, I think one, this one, Control Z, Control Z. Uh, let me select this thing. Let me actually do scale it. So uh, I select this, Control that, Control this, and I'm gonna scale it. Uh, duplicate, that's fine. So keep the, uh, uh, so, Let me try to scale it. Scale. I select these things. One, two, and three. Uh, keep internal constraint. Keep original. And so. <clears throat> so like let me do the scaling scale uh set the geometry to scale obviously it's this whole thing and uh uh pre-select it okay good Okay, let me go ahead and make the something that looks like that. There are faster ways of doing it. You can uh, probably scale or uh, you know uh, offset, etc. Let me let me offset actually. So offset this a point. Uh, or let me see now. Uh, select the point or click for location of the new element. So okay. So select this. that okay so let me go ahead and actually make a, a an hour arm which looks pretty much the same as that so uh, let me use the profile okay exit and then pad it by five millimeters you say okay all right so let me i'll change the color of these two properties uh, uh on the graphics uh, let me change the color this one to pinkish okay and the other fellow also make it green properties uh graphics uh, actually colors let me cancel that where am i here uh, hour, I'm going to go to minute, that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to go to minute, right click properties, uh, on the graphics, uh, let me do it from here, right click properties, graphics, uh, make it green, good, <clears throat> okay, 
So all the way to the product, save everything. And uh, I'm going to anchor the base. I'm going to move these things apart so that we can assemble it properly. So let me translate these things in the direction X, like that, and like that. Okay, that's already anchored so coincidence between this axis and that axis and coincidence between this plane and that plane that makes it a rubble joint okay good update Ooh, uh hang in there i think i selected the wrong constraints this one delete this try it again yeah, the axis and axis is no problem. Let me update that. Oh. A coincidence between the axis of this and the axis of that fellow. Update. Okay, and coincidence between this plane and that plane. Okay, update. Okay, now, <clears throat> I want to do the same thing with this fellow. So, coincidence between this axis and that axis. Okay. All right. And then, coincidence. <clears throat> uh, let me actually, let me actually do the following. Uh, put a... <clears throat> a constraint here, offset constraint between that face and the face of the base. And the value, I'll make it uh, 5. <clears throat> that will also be a revolutionary later on. What? The revolutionary is an offset. <clears throat> okay. So uh, we have to put some physics into this. Otherwise, that's a two degree of freedom system. <clears throat> I'm going to put the physics data on, but let's go to the mechanism and save it. And then DMU, uh, DMU kinematic, digital mockup, <clears throat> get the magic wand out, new mechanism, auto create. There's going to be two joints, and they're both revolute joints. You'll see that. So let's go here. Degree of freedom is going to be two. So if you make this thing angle driven, let's say zero to 360. <clears throat> this goes to the degree of freedom being one. Make this one angle driven, zero to 360. Now the degree mm -hmm. of freedom is zero. However, when you try to manually simulate that, there's going to be two sliding bars because these are independent, uh, independent thing. The other thing is that the, the rotation direction is wrong. So let's go fix this thing. For revolute, I want this thing to go clockwise. And double click on this. I want this thing to go clockwise also. The arrow points in the clockwise direction. Okay, now if you try to do simulation with command, you can see it goes in the right direction. Now we have to put some physics into the problem. <laughs> and before doing that, I would like to change my units, units of time, to minutes instead of uh, seconds. So we go to tools, uh, options. Parameters and measures, units, the time, I'll make it minutes. Where's minutes? Right there. Good. Okay, click on f of x. <clears throat> click on mechanism. There is two commands here. The first one is going to be, the first one is, is going to be the hour arm. I'm pretty sure that's the hour arm. Okay. So we want to add a formula 
And the formula is that that angle is equal to, notice that that angle in 60 minutes, it goes one round. So it's going to be uh, 360, actually one round per minute, right? One, you can write uh, RPM or uh, 360 degrees per minute. It really doesn't matter. It's entirely up to you times oops times time oops that's not times uh times time so we say okay uh it looks like it doesn't like rpm maybe uh uh turn per minute I can't remember. Let's check that. What's the unit? Turn per minute. Yeah, not RPM. Turn per minute. And this other guy is in uh uh 12 hours, it goes one round. 12 times 60, 720. Okay, so that's going to be... Uh, let's do it like this. Uh, add a formula equal to... Uh, so... Uh, Remember before that our, our arm was one turn per minute. Here we have one turn in 70, uh, 7,200 minutes. Okay, so uh, let's do it like this one turn underscore m, or let's do it like this actually one divider. Put in parentheses. Uh, yeah, I suppose you can do that. One divided. Where is that? One divided by 720. 12 hours is that. Turns per minute. Times. Um, if you feel more comfortable, use uh, other units, use uh, degrees, etc. Hopefully, there are no stakes in units. Yeah, still there is stock. Okay, so, what I'm going to do is uh, put this in parentheses. One parentheses. Uh, Let's see, multiply. I don't know whether I need a one or not. We'll find out. Yeah, I guess. One. Let's see now. Uh, one over 720. Maybe that's all you need. Turn per minute. Nope. Doesn't like it. Oh, minute. M-I-N, not M. Ooh. Minute. Okay. Say fine. Nope. <laughs> so let me make one. You know what? I don't like the way I'm doing this thing. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. So let me do it like this. I don't like this. So that's good. One turn per minute divided by 720 times times time yeah that should do it yes <clears throat> say okay now if i do uh for example 180 minutes if i do the simulation 180 minutes this minute arm will go three times and the hour uh, three times, and the hour 
or should go to three o'clock. Okay, so let's find out. Simulation with laws. Simulation with laws. Let's do it, not seconds, but, uh, oh, I for, uh, did I change the time? I did change the time to minute. Okay, so uh, 180, I thought I changed the units. Let's check that for a second. I don't know why. Or maybe, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it uh, 180 min. It doesn't like that. Okay, so, oh, 180. I'm not sure it's units or oh, seconds. No, 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 not second. 180. Three hours. <laughs> See how it's 180 minutes. Okay. And uh, minute and multiplied by 60. Uh, 10,800. I thought I changed, but I don't know why it did not take my minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, oh, right there. Whoa, that's going to be a little. Let's find out. Back. Let's slow it down. I want to slow it down here, so make it uh, 500. Play it. Definitely, there is a problem. I think I screwed up with these uh, formulas. We put them in the wrong spots. So we say close. <clears throat> Let's rewind everything. I think my formulas they were all messed up. Uh, I put the hour 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 arm and minute arm. I mistakenly put the wrong stuff in there. So let's go fix it. Not there. The laws are right here. Okay. So this should be divided by 720, that's right, divided by 720, okay, the other one should not have the 720 in it, okay, okay, let's try it now. So the green arm should go three times. Let's try it first like that. I think there is a problem with my, the hour arm seems to be okay. But the minute arm, uh, it's going, too fast so let's check that so this one is okay 1 turn per minute oh no 1 turn in 60 minutes oh close 1 turn divided by 60 minutes Okay, now let's try it. One, two, three. Exactly what we expected. Yes, I did struggle. Yes, you have to think about these things. And uh, we solved it. Good luck, folks.